Hey, 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 my name is Polo Slings. Welcome to Sakura Sakubus. We are apparently in the bar now. After the events on the street. So, yeah, what a day that was. I'm sitting in a smoky bar, nursing some cocktail or another. Just get whiskey. I'm not sure what it's called and neither do I really care. I was so cut out of it when I arrived at this bar and more than intimidated by the vast selection of drinks available, I asked the bartender to make up whatever cocktail they wanted. Just get whiskey. The cocktail is a comforting amber color and, is t it, uh, and it tastes faintly fruity. It's not bad for. In my current state of misery, I wouldn't say no to something even harder. I mean, it's a cocktail, so... Then again, getting too drunk might be a poor idea. My head is still killing me. For alcohol can sometimes take the edge of worldly pains. At other times, it can only serve to exacerbate them. I guess that's true. Given I've been so unlucky today, I'd rather not take my chances. I absolutely love the music in here. I sip at my drink, only half tasting it. Jazzy piano music fills the air, mingled with that of a casual conversation. This bar is fairly popular one, and several men and women, for mostly men, are sitting about drinking. Some of the men are in business suits, while the women wear sparkly evening dresses. Their faces are carefully made up and their feet wedged into very loosely high-heeled shoes. I wonder if these men just finished work. It's a weekend, but that doesn't necessarily mean R&R for Japan's bankers or businessmen. I know, like, the atmosphere of a bar, the music, to me this literally speaks as a movie about some detective that is speaking of some story from the past right now, to be honest. It feels like it. At least to me. Anyway, some companies operate even during Saturdays and Sundays. Their workers obliged to work long into the night. Forced overtime? No thanks. I pity all these guys, with their slick back hair and their slightly rumpled suits. I mean... Why? I mean... I would totally wear a suit every day if I had a work that would require that. Because I absolutely love suits. Okay, maybe not the top part of it, but the bottom part, yes. For I would prefer to wear sports shoes that lo go along with with the suit, definitely. Because not a fan of the fancy shoes, like they always hurt my feet. And at the top, I'd prefer only uh, only shirt, only white shirt. For well, not necessarily white but yeah probably white would be the best especially on holidays if you know what I mean at least I would if I hadn't had such an awful day myself not only did I fail to take any photos I but I was also slapped across the face by the self same woman then to cap things off I broke the very expensive camera equipment my boss commanded me to take care of okay I don't know maybe I'm noticing it right now, or maybe they started to do it right now. But what's the point of recapping something that happened in the game two minutes ago? I know, it was in the previous episode, but in the game it happened two minutes ago. What's the point? I'm so not looking forward to going to work on Monday. My boss is gonna eviscerate me. At least the businessmen around me, wary for they look, seem to be having fun. They probably even... Uh, uh, they probably earn a lot more than I do, and I doubt their bosses are as draconian as my own. Mm, the first statement, probably true. 
second you never know that my boss is a jumped up and plus we are talking about Japanese companies I would say the workers there are not really are not really I mean going by the stereotypes a bit I'm sorry but I feel like they wouldn't speak up their mind at all no matter how bossy the boss would be. Anyway, my boss is a jumped up man with an inflated sense of self-importance who loves to breathe down the necks of his employees. He chews us out for the smallest of errors and he seems to take genuinely sadistic delight in making the newest hires cry. Hmm. He's never made me cry. I wouldn't want to give him the satisfaction, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little afraid of him. I had one co-worker that would cry a lot. For sometimes even no reason. I mean... Like, even sometimes... There was... Yeah, there were a few times when she was sad. Uh, by the boss, or should I say by the manager of the store. Uh, okay, you've done this wrong. Do it again. And later she was uh, literally crying her eyes out. Like, wow. If something like this destroys you, this is not good. Anyway, mm, boop. I've generally kept in his good grace for three years. I've been working under him, but that's going to come to an end on Monday. Three years is how long I survived in retail. Until my contract came to an end and I didn't extend it. Why would I? I mean, besides three years in one company, that's pretty long. And on the other hand, in retail, that's a bit too long. I'd like to think he won't fire me. As much as I dislike my job, I kinda need it to pay the bills. But that might be a touch too optimistic. Even if he doesn't fire me, which is a distinct possibility, the costs of this smashed camera are gonna come directly out of my earnings. Either way, I'll be in trouble. I guess I'll be eating instant noodles for the rest of them all. I've been eating only toasts while I was a university student, so... You can do it! This will be the last time I'll be able to go to a bar too. You can do it! I mope over my drink, my fingers buried in my hair. I'm suddenly very aware of how expensive this cocktail was, and I want to make it last for as long as possible. Whether I get fired or not, finances are gonna be tight. I can't afford to spend too much time. I mean, too much money. How I envy the businessmen around me, forking out bills for fancy drinks and snacks. I understand that. Pretty women, maybe girlfriends, but they could be escorts, it's hard to tell. Hang on their arms, laughing at all their bad jokes. Their lips... Uh, that I wouldn't want. Their lips shimmering with gloss. I think I'd rather have someone who is true to that and tell me okay that joke sucked oh sorry when was the last time a pretty girl draped herself for me like that huh well strictly speaking it was about half an hour ago i was making herself pretty comfortable on my lap until she slapped me that's another thing to feel rotten about that eye is so sadistic Surely got my hopes up. What? Alright, I don't know if the previous games got my... Like, sarca sadisticometer... Lower or something, but I wouldn't say I was sadistic at all back there. I take another sip of my cocktail. I hope it might lighten my dreary thoughts, but it's actually making feel me feel worse. Maybe I should hurry up and get out of here. I'm too broke to get drunk, and the trains will stop running soon. And you will walk, that's all there is to it. I knock back the rest of my cocktail, then get to my feet. I'm ready to make a beeline for the exit when. <clears throat> oh my, 
Are you leaving already? That is a shame. It's not even midnight yet. A sultry voice calls me back. I turn, blinking. Then gasp. Yeah, I gasp too. Whew. Seeing by the counter is an incredibly attractive woman. Yeah. She has dark tan skin which contrasts with her almost bone white hair. Perfect. She's dressed in business attire, but her pinstrap suit and white shirt gape open reveal an ample bosom. One of her legs is crossed over the other, and in one hand she holds a glass. Her eyes are green, and like cats, and they are lidded. A playful smile puckers her lips, and her face is flushed, probably from the alcohol. Something about her looks familiar, but I can't quite place her face. To be quite frank, her large bosom is attracting most of my attention, as are her thighs. You could crush a watermelon between thighs like that. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Maybe. Was she really calling out to me? But why? I don't think I'm particularly unattractive, but my flyaway hair and my baggy jeans aren't the pinnacle of fashion or good taste. Oh, I mean, I mean sweatpants. It should be obvious at a glance that I don't pull in half the salary as some of the big short businessmen around here do. Maybe that's the point. And I only have lemon tea here. I mean, I don't drink much, so... Especially alone. Never alone. Oh. Anyway, I mean, big short businessman, I mean... I mean, she's probably in the same industry or so on. So, she probably knows they are liars. No offense, but it is possible, I believe. Some of them, at least. Okay, just like any other people. God damn it. Okay, let's assume that the guys that are in that bar, okay, that are businessmen, are liars. And that's why she's not interested in them. I don't know why I even try to explain that, but whatever. <clears throat> I must have been mistaken. It can't have been me she was calling out to. There is no way. I turn right to walk away once more, but... Hey! I was talking to you, you know! It's rude to leave a lady in the lurch! Didn't your mother teach you any manners? <laughs> the woman's laugh is throaty and it does any number of curious things to my body. I can feel my hair standing on the end, and my mouth feels dry despite the alcohol I consumed. <laughs> I guess Shirley was talking to me. Hey, I beg your pardon? I glance back at the femme fatale doing my level best new to go up at her chest. I'm not a teenager anymore, damn it! Yes, but it's easier said than being done. Sometimes. Do I know you? You look familiar for. But I don't think we've met before. Oh, I look familiar, do I? I suppose that's hardly a surprise. My name is Marina. Wakatsuki Marina. Does that ring any bells? Mm -mm. Uh, now that she said it, her name does sound very familiar. The newspaper I work at, Sakura Daily, read an article on her just a few weeks ago. Wakatsuki Marina is a famous entrepreneur and businesswoman. Half Japanese, half South African, I think. Marina is the head of a world-famous brand of design and clothes, perfume, cosmetics, and more. She's one of the wealthiest women in Tokyo, 
for she's no idol, I think she might be more famous than Ayu. Grasp the chance, man! I've run to two famous celebs today, all in under an hour. What are the odds of that? Well, I was content to slap me and call me a pervert. Marina actually seems interested in instigating a conversation. This is amazing. I'm a photographer for a local paper, so I've met a few BD celebrities in my time. But never before have I met a woman that executes glass and glamour like Wakatsuki Marina. Be still, my beating heart. <sighs> my, my, you certainly look surprised. You'll attract flies if you let your mouth or hand knock open like that, dear. It's not a very attractive look. That's something that has been told to me and other players I used to play with while we were running. But, okay. Uh, I'm sorry? It's alright. You don't need to apologize. I'm not offended. People often gap when they see me. I'm quite used to it. I'm a celebrity, you know. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm aware. I, I can't believe I just didn't recognize you sooner. I bow again, which makes her giggle anew. Like I said, you don't need to apologize. I get enough of that at work. It's always, yes, ma'am, right away. And we're terribly sorry. My workers all respect me, but they're so distant. It's almost like they're afraid of me. Do they have a reason to be afraid of you? I know I'm very wealthy, beautiful, charismatic, and so on, but at the end of the day I'm still a normal woman. I get tired of people groveling before me. Oh. Sometimes I just want to have a normal conversation. Oh! Did we find what I was looking for in this game? A beautiful... Definitely looking adult woman, but it's not a sadist. Please, if we did, yes. Oh, right, well, I, I see. I'm, I stopped myself at the right moment. An apology is fully formed on my tongue, but I cut myself off before I can say anything foolish. This must be why Marina called me over, despite the vast gulf of difference between our wealth and social standing. She's tired of being treated like a celeb and no doubt owing to a capricious whim of the wealthy. She wants to speak to a member of the peanut gallery like me. This is all a bit sudden. My heart stood incredibly far hard. But, well, if Maria wants to speak to a nobody like me, who am I to refuse? Now, why don't you sit your cute bottom back down the counter, sweetie? Don't you want to buy another drink? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind, but I don't have much money. That's alright. I'd be more than happy to foot the bill. Uh, that's cool and all, but... Uh, that makes me so uncomfortable, actually. That, uh, well, that's very kind of you, but are you sure? I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to put you out. Nonsense. Marina waves one manicured hand carelessly. Is it really? I don't see, I mean, I don't see any ridiculous attachments to her nails, I think. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. If they are just cleanly made, yes, that's what it's about. They can have some colors, yes, it's fine. But if you get some weird ass attachments, no, no. And for the last time, no. Anyway, I am a wealthy businesswoman. A drink or two is hardly going to break the bank. Uh, I mean. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I guess you're right about that. 
I flash embarrassed that I am a mere photographer. Even Fallout could question the depths of Marina's pockets. She's infinitely richer than I could ever aspire to be. That hurts. I know common courtesy dictates that men should foot the bill during dates, but... But technically it's not a date, so... Screw it! This isn't really a date. Exactly. And Maridia's the one who offered to buy me a drink in the first place. I think it's fine to flaunt convention every once in a while. If you don't mind, then sure, I'll be happy if you bought me a drink. Where's the spirit? I like a man who can hold his liquor. Yes. I mean, I have good head. I don't drink much, but I have good head. So... Bartender? Can I get a couple of lemon highballs over here? Is that a thing? Come on. Search engine. Help me out here. Lemon... God damn it. Lemon... High ball. It's a thing! How does it look? Uh, Japanese whiskey and soda water. That's all? Take a chill to ice cubes, okay. And add the lemon. That's all? It's probably not even any expensive. Unless, I don't know what kind of whiskey you are getting into it, but... Okay. Let us continue. I sit down next to Marina while she plies me with alcohol. We drink together for a while, idly exchanging banter, all the while I try not to stare at her chest. I can hardly believe that this is happening. What's become of my life? I don't know what they are complaining about. About half an hour. And three more lemon highballs later. Marina shoots me a curious glance and says, Oh my god, she's so beautiful. So, Hiroki, why do you look so down? Did something happen? She's so much better than I. Uh, I could. Uh, I guess you could say that, yeah, but was it really that obvious? Quiet? That's why I called out to you. I couldn't stand to see such a handsome young man looking so. well. defeated? I know we're uh, relative strangers, but as the old saying goes, a problem shared is a problem halved. Would you mind telling me what's on your mind? Is that really a saying? I know if you'd want to hear it. It's nothing interesting. If what? It's nothing that interesting. It's work stuff, I guess. Ah, as a businesswoman, I'm very well acquainted with troublesome work stuff. I have plenty of problems of my own to deal with. I figure as much, that's why I don't want to burn you with mine. Hmm, but... Marnie leans in a little closer to me. I can feel the silky softness of her silvery hair against my flushed skin. I think it'd be nice to listen to somebody else's woes. It must take my mind off my concerns. And who knows? Listening to the problems might help me think of a way to resolve these pesky problems of mine. Would you tell me what's wrong, dear? I'd love to get to know you better. You're so cute, after all. Marina draws her pink, cut-like tongue along her lower lip. Why? You're cute enough to eat? <laughs> I'm all for it, to be honest. I don't think I'm all that good looking. Uh, same? But, I mean... I mean, not st not terrible, I guess. Like average, a solid six and a half out of ten. I don't know. But if you want to listen to my belly aching, I suppose I can oblige. You did buy me a few drinks after all. Now, comfortably like headed, I offer Marina a small smile, then launch into my tail. Are we getting another recap? I'm a photographer for Daily Sakura. 
I mean Sakura Daily. Do you know it? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I was interviewed by an employee of that newspaper in a few weeks prior. So I was misremembering. We really have a run and peace on Marnie before. It's nice to know. I'm not going senile. I mean, I'm 26, okay? I guess. Well, my boss sent me out to a concert by Ayo tonight. She's a popular idol. Yeah, I know about her. I know very well, as a matter of fact. Really? You'd be surprised to know how close we are. <laughs> I look at Marina in three. She doesn't look like the sort of person who'd be familiar with the musical stylings of Ikue Ayu. One looks like she'd be into classical music or jazz. What? Not high energy J pop numbers. I mean, yes, maybe not J pop, but. What? I wouldn't say it's classical music or jazz as well. For maybe given the bar she's in. That plays kinda jazzy tunes. That kind of makes it probable. I guess you can judge a book by its cover. Actually, you can sometimes. But, never mind. Well, I was meant to take some pics of I while she was performing, but there were a few problems. The trains were delayed and arrived at the concert date. It had already started when I got there, and I couldn't get to the front of the crowd. I was shunned all the way to the back, behind a whole sea of people. There was no space and there were too many bodies in the way, so, uh, so I couldn't set up my camera. I had no chance to take any photos. Oh no! That sounds like quite a disaster! I mean, if you really were good, you would be able to spot some... Spot? from which you could take pictures from the distance as well, maybe? And think of it, it would be different than the other people. Because all the photographers for sure were in the very first rows, right? You would be in the back row. I mean, they just catch the photo of the girl. You could catch the photo of the girl and the crowd going wild while she's performing. That makes it a bit different than the others. So, it would probably be more noticed. Yeah, like I should be speaking of that. Anyway, it was my boss. He's gonna kill me when he finds out and that's not the end of it. I give Marin a quick, a brief version of the night's events. And for the second time to us. I tell her about my gloomy night time wandering through the city, then my chance to cut the revive. I don't go into every single gory detail. There was no gory there. I don't, for instance, tell Marina how excited I get when I fell on me, but I do tell Marina that I will slap me for my efforts, then called me a pervert. <gasps> I didn't want to do anything inappropriate to her. I was just trying to do my job, kind of. I lament helplessly. My words fall in a tumble from my throat. When lubricated with alcohol, it's surprisingly easy to gush about the most embarrassing of things. She slapped me really hard. The whole side of my head is so smarting. Ah, yeah. I can see red mark in face, but how did you mention it? She must have done a number on you. She really did. For an idol, she had a surprising amount of upper body strength. I didn't know she was so powerful, she certainly doesn't look like it. She's so tiny, and she wears so much pink. Oh yeah, idols are made of tougher stuff than you might think. They pour a lot of time and effort into perfecting their dance routines and they work long hours. Yeah. I'm not surprised that I was so struck. Oh, I wish she learned to use that head of hers, she's so thoughtless. Uh. This no, I didn't skip. Okay, I really am sorry she caused you so much distress, Hiroki. It's fine. What's done is done. I'm trying not to think about it too much. And the alcohol is certainly helping. My surroundings look crazy and real, and my mind is pleasantly numb. One or two things about Marina's words do seem quite odd. For it sounds like you know Ayo quite well. Not just an idol, but as a person. I suppose you could say that. 
I had her clothes, like I said. We're not family, but we might as well be. She's like... A naughty little sister to me, I suppose. What? Really? Okay, I didn't know that. Few people do. My relationship with Ayu isn't widely publicized. I was good at putting on a cute act before the cameras, but she has a short temper and she can be quite nasty at times. I knew it! I mean, for so obvious, but... Do you want me to have a word with her? I'm really quite upset that she would treat you so badly. Oh uh, no, it's fine. Like I said, it's too late to worry about that now. Maybe so, but I do sympathize with you. You must have had a rough night. Uh huh. Well, that's just part of being an adult. I'm used to it. The alcohol has had, so has talking to you. Thanks for listening to my worries, Marina. Do you want to listen to my to your? Well, stop. Do you want me to listen to your worries now? Come on, Hiroki, you can play it out like this. It's no problem at all. I'm glad I was able to aid you in some small manner. For I wish I could do more. It's partially my fault I was so rude to you. If I disciplined her better, she'd never have slapped you. Keeping high lines by job. Lady Yue asked me to keep an eye on her, and I failed. Lady who? I feel most humbled. Lady Yue. I wonder who that is. Based on the title Marina gave her, she sounds like royalty. Is she a foreign princess? But what connection does she have with Marina and Ayu? Oh, Ayu Yue. I'm on the loss. I think she was Yue. But if I can wonder this, I feel a soft sensation against my thigh. Marina is gripping my amber leg with one hand. Her manicured nails digging through my fabric of my pants. Okay, they don't look manicured. Hiroki Marina leans in. Her voice falls too soft, so through whisper, which envelops my body like a caress. I cannot overstate how sorry I am that I caused you so many problems. She's not a girl and I will scold her later. But for now, I would like to apologize on her behalf. Would you mind coming back to my office with me? Let's go! You're a fine specimen of a man. And it's been a long time since I last found prey worthy of my unique attention. You intrigued me the moment I saw you, so please. <clears throat> Marina licks her lips, her eyes heavy with expectation. Don't let me down. Ahem. We'll find out what's happened next in the next episode because we still need to cover that route to that office supposed office okay so for now hope you enjoyed hope to see you tomorrow as well bye bye